These are extraordinary political times for Scotland after voters here emphatically backed remaining in the EU while a majority across the UK voted to leave. Diverging trends are putting unprecedented strain on the three century old political union between England and Scotland. Many voters here who backed Scotland to stay in the UK in a referendum less than two years ago are deeply dismayed at the prospect of being forced out of the EU. With cross-party backing in the Scottish Parliament, First Minister Nicola Sturgeon is launching a diplomatic campaign Thank to secure Scotland's Thank European you. status. This is not a statement I wanted to make. The Scottish Government didn't seek a referendum on our membership of the European Union and we certainly did not want this result. Scotland spoke clearly for Remain and I am determined that Scotland's voice will be heard. Ms Sturgeon says she's ready to consider all options, but she's warned that a second independence referendum is highly likely. Based on the very clear result in Scotland, if we were to be removed from the EU, it would be against the will of our people. That would be democratically unacceptable. It is for that reason that I have said that everything must be on the table to protect our place in Europe, including a second independence referendum. In an impassioned speech at the European Parliament, Alan Smith of her Scottish National Party demanded that Scotland should be allowed to stay and he won a standing ovation from sympathetic fellow MEPs. Cher collègue, do not let Scotland down now. But whether EU leaders and member states will be willing to accommodate Scotland is highly unclear as is the likely level of support for Scottish independence if another referendum is called. Much may depend on how the UK's Brexit negotiations go. This drama is just beginning. Muir Dickey, Financial Times, Edinburgh.